What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I want to make a quick video kind of discussing the next Call of Duty title. Of course, this is going to be Call of Duty 2020. This will be the game that's coming out this fall, usually around the holiday season, anywhere from October to usually about November is when we see uh, Call of Duty released every year. And of course, this game is going to be a Treyarch game, as we all know, because Sledgehammer has kind of going through some changes. It was supposed to be Sledgehammer's year. And that was kind of taken out, uh, and they went ahead and decided to make Treyarch the game developer for this year's game, which is not really unusual. I mean, it used to be Infinity Ward and Treyarch every other year making a game, so it's not like this is the first time they've ever had to make a game a little more quickly, I guess, than they have in the past. I'm just hoping that these development teams have not gotten used to, uh, you know, having three development teams overall and having a longer period of time to make their game. And, and, you know, they can put out a good quality product that we all enjoy. I think that was one thing a lot of people kind of disliked in the past was every year it was Infinity War or Treyarch and the games felt like they became more and more familiar, you know, year in and year out. And a lot of people got tired of that. And I think that was one reason they added Sledgehammer in. Now, it looks like Sledgehammer is hiring new employees, hiring new development teams for multiple games of what Activision has reported. So it looks like Sledgehammer probably will be added back into the the fold at some point, but not this year. So... So far this year, all the leaks have come out, and of course you can take all leaks with a grain of salt. A lot of people thought it was going to be a Black Ops 1 reboot. Treyarch turned that down. A lot of people thought it was going to be Call of Duty Vietnam. A lot of people turned that down. There's also rumors now kind of floating around that will be called Black Ops Cold War. I'm not sure if that's going to be true either. But kind of the consistency over the last several months of it being a Cold War Vietnam kind of clash i guess you know the two different time frames in the story a lot of people have kind of reported that there will be a campaign you will kind of be bouncing back and forth between the cold war and vietnam and i think that would be kind of a neat idea uh, i also think the vietnam idea would be great for multiplayer or the cold war idea either one because there's not really been a lot of multiplayer games in general kind of around those two time frames or those two you know those two areas and i've played a lot of, of of shooters in the past like you play battlefield vietnam you played the battlefield vietnam expansion for bad company too you look at things like black ops one that vietnam era style maps are really enjoyable to me i really like those kind of maps so hopefully we might get something like that but like i said you can take all these rumors with a grain of salt we won't know what the game is going to be exactly until treyarch announces it now, usually the new Call of Duty title is announced around the end of May, the beginning of June. We'll get a teaser, we'll get a trailer, we'll get an idea, we'll get something. Uh, we might just get the, you know, the cover of the game. Who knows what we could get, but Treyarch and Activision should let us know some kind of information, I would say, within the next several weeks to month, and we'll kind of have a better idea of what we can expect with the next Call of Duty title. So what I'm kind of curious about, are you guys excited about maybe a Cold War style game, a Vietnam style game, just a Treyarch game in general? I know there are a lot of people's uh, favorite development team within the Call of Duty franchise. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to something, you know, from them because they usually make some pretty good games. Now some years they have not always lived up to, I guess, what they have made in the past, but that could be said for any Call of Duty title really. Some years it's better than others. But I am kind of curious to see what happens kind of going forward, especially with uh, Raven really working on Warzone inside, inside of Modern Warfare. They're usually somebody that helps make, you know, games with Treyarch. So I'm kind of curious if they, do they have a team that's going to help Treyarch still and still work on Warzone. How is Warzone going to be tied into the new Call of Duty title? Because they said they want Warzone to continue throughout multiple Call of Duty titles. So it looks like we're not going to be getting a new Battle Royale every year. I'm not saying that Treyarch couldn't make one. It looks like Warzone is something that's going to stay around permanently, though. So I'm not sure if each development team is going to be making their own BR or they're just going to go with Warzone and each development team is just going to make a campaign in multiplayer. So leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel and all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.